don't wear ponchos. Who wears ponchos? You wear ponchos? I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Diana, and today I'm going to be showing you all of the clothes that I picked up at the thrift stores and secondhand resale shops to refresh my fall and winter wardrobe. I'll be trying everything on and telling you how much everything was, and I'll be doing this all with very simple jewelry on and I think that's all I'll need. I've picked out some really interesting items, so this is going to be really fun. Let's go. Here's the first outfit. Um, this is my red silk skirt that I previously got at a thrift store. It's from the 90s, it's Coldwater Creek, so technically it's, it's a little dorky, but I love it. And we're going to bring out this men's cashmere sweater that I got, which is kind of oversized, I like it. I'm going to pair it with these square-toed boots with a heel. I don't normally wear heels, but I think it looks good with this outfit. But I want you to notice that how I have it styled is very frumpy. So I think what I should do is I should push up the sleeves. And I should tuck it in, but this skirt's very thin, so it's going to create this bulky thing right where I just don't need bulk. So I'm going to show you a trick I learned from the young people, which is to flip your sweater under and tuck it into your bra strap. And that gives you a much cleaner line, as you can see. Much better, much more slimming. And actually it, it brings the line from up here to up here, which is much better. I really like this. Cashmere is a perfect material in the winter. It keeps you just the right temperature and the softness feels like wearing kittens. I'd like to show you what I'm going to use as a base outfit for a couple of these looks. This is my bodysuit, simple black bodysuit I got from Forever 21, I don't know, five years ago. And it was cheap, and what's great about it is um, you can throw a bunch of things over it and completely change the look. I'm going to wear these motorcycle boots for a lot of the looks because honestly, I hardly ever wear heels, and this is going to be a more realistic look for me. I'm excited about this blazer. I must say that I am not plus sized and I often find myself gravitating toward Lane Bryant clothes because they're often very well designed. And this is a Lane Bryant jacket. And look how great this looks. I think this is really cute. And it goes well over this bodysuit. I'm not showing too much. It's good when it looks boxy like this. It doesn't show off too much. I'm very happy with this. And the dark florals are very winter appropriate. Very happy with this Lane Bryant jacket. I got this wool sweater at the thrift store and it's All Saints, which is a very good brand. And it's really nice wool. It's kind of a uh, sweater dress. Let me put this on. This is a really nice casual look. I might even add a silk scarf. The arms are a little tight to tell you the truth, but it's not a deal breaker for me. I really like the way this looks. Let's try to add the scarf. This is not a scarf video. I have one of those. I will link it below if you love scarves. But I just grabbed the first scarf I saw in my closet, which is this tiny little square. Let's see how it looks with this look. Honestly, didn't need it. I think if I was going to wear different jewelry, I might wear a more statement earring here. But I'm going to keep it basic for today as we try on these clothes. For the next look, I'm going to keep on my bodysuit, but I'm going to throw on this black silk blouse that I found from Joie, 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 Joie. <laughs> I found this. I think it's a poncho. I think this is a poncho. It's definitely real wool. I don't wear ponchos. Who wears ponchos? You wear ponchos? I'm sorry. I'm gonna wear this as a skirt. Let's see how this looks. I think I would just sew up this little opening here and turn it into a skirt. But I do not think that this is the blouse for this skirt. I'm going to try a turtleneck instead. Well, this looks much better as a winter outfit. I think I love this as a skirt. I do not think these are the right boots. I'll put my heels back on. 
even though I don't want to. They're not big heels. So they're not that bad. Hey, much, much better. It's kind of like wearing a blanket. So, you know, you want to wear it somewhere where you might need to be keeping a little bit warmer. This is Southern California, so there's not too many times where I want to be warmer. Uh, but sometimes I travel and then sometimes it gets cold, but I do think that this is very, very cute. So sometimes you want to think about using clothes in a different way than they were designed for. Like, <laughs> there's no way, there's no way I'm wearing this poncho, but there's every way that I'm wearing this skirt. Now this is a winter outfit to me because I live in Southern California. I don't always need socks here. But I do think that I would wear this for sure. And I love my little red flats and how they bring out the colors of the florals and the pants. And this lovely sweater said the magic words to me. The tag says, by anthropology. And I'm kind of a sucker for that. And not only that, guys, this sweater is brand new with tags. So I didn't even take it off because I wanted to prove it to you. This itself is a fine look, but I think it looks much better with the front a little tucked in. Of course, you could do the trick I was just mentioning earlier, but I'm just gonna tuck these into my pants this time. And I really like the way this extra flap on the end covers my bum. Uh, and then the front also looks pretty cool. It looks uh, more flattering. So I like this. I like these choices. They'll liven things up a little bit this winter. Okay, I'm putting this black silk blouse back on. It's a lovely blouse. Very flattering, and I love the details up here. It's made by a company that really knows their silk blouses. This is an untucked look, which I really like for the winter. I don't exactly always want everything hugging my body, but I also want to show you the difference when it's tucked in. Let's see what we like better. And that's definitely not even better. That is not better. That creates bulk because these are very soft pants. So sometimes just leave it out and enjoy your life and don't think about what's happening around here for the day. This would be a lovely thing to wear. Everything is soft. I can't say enough about soft pants and how they will change your life. To make that move from stiff work pants or jeans to soft pants, you know, you just have to graduate a level sometimes in your life to comfort. And comfort doesn't mean sacrificing beauty or fashion. It just means comfort and I feel good. This whole outfit feels great. Let's do one more look with these floral pants. Look at this crazy bright sweater. I wouldn't normally choose tomato red, but I was kind of suckered in by the, the cool sleeves. And not only that, I, I wouldn't normally buy an acrylic sweater, not secondhand especially, but this was in really good shape, like brand new. And I figured it would be fun to wear for like the Christmas season, or I don't know, around Valentine's Day, It'd be very fun and festive. And then, you know, if it looks bad by the end of the season, of course I'll get rid of it. But, you know, you really can't beat it for the price. So I like this. I like this with the floral pants and my little red shoes. I think it's very cute. And so I like to ask myself, can we make this more fun? And I think we can make this more fun. This is a silk scarf I have lying around. And let's just see how this goes. I like this a lot. I like this actually the best. Maybe because I love scarves so much, but I actually love the entire thing. I'm going to enjoy my tomato red sweater for this year. And if I need to say goodbye at the end of the year, so be it. This is a beautiful dress. I am in love with this dress. Now, I would wear it with these flats. I really would. If I was going to wear this in the winter, I might pair it with boots. And I'll go ahead and put those boots on, but I also want to show you that I would normally, on something like this, to make it look less um, fancy, and I wanted to wear it more casually, I would wear it with the sleeves rolled up like this and with these flats. Also, this dress comes with a big slit up the side. I don't like that at all. You will never find me showing this part of my leg. <laughs> So I'm going to be sewing that shut. Right now it's just pinned. But boy, oh boy, look at this. Look at this dress. Look at it. Look at it. 
Look at it move. It's so great. So I'm going to put the boots on. Okay, and if it's winter, I would definitely have the sleeves down. But I like this. I like this a lot. I might even put a big chunky sweater over this. I just adore the details on this dress. I didn't want to pay $30 for it, but I got this dress at a resale shop here where people take their nicer clothing to be resold. And this definitely is a nicer item. So it's kind of double what I like to pay, but I think it was absolutely worth it. Sometimes things are just designed so well that you have to dive in and enjoy it because when it fits right and it's designed right, definitely uh, worth a purchase. I didn't even button the sleeves because I don't like that. I like freedom. So here's another dress I kind of broke my frugal rules for. It was at a different uh, secondhand resale shop. And this dress is a brand that was sold at Anthropology. So of course the magic words were said, but it's not just the magic words. Look at the color of this dress. Look at the color of this dress. I just thought it was the best fabric and the best pattern. It's like wearing a watercolor. Now this is not the most flattering shape for me. But this is a flattering shape for if you're feeling a little bloated or, or bigger than you want to at the moment, it shows nothing. Um, and if you want to create some sort of definition, you just take any kind of sash you have lying around. Right here I have something from a, a kind of sari fabric that I had in my closet. I'm just going to tie it around <clears throat> and create something here. And I'm not going to wear heels with this. It probably would look better if I had a little lift, but this is what we get. And I really like this. I would definitely wear a chunkier earring with this. I'm trying to keep it really basic right now, but I would wear probably big gold earrings with this. Boy, I love this fabric. You could even wear a big sweater over this and just use the skirt portion, but this is a good find. And it was worth the $30. It was worth it. This gray sweater I picked on purpose because it's boring. And, and the only thing that's not boring are these sleeves. I thought that was kind of cute. It's, um, I don't know, a little waist length, boring gray sweater that's very comfortable. And why did I choose a boring sweater? Because sometimes you need something boring. Because sometimes you have pink pants and you need to show off your pink pants and you can't just be showing off everything. Oh, and I have my silver, my silver shoes on, which I think go really well with the gray sweater and kind of perk it up a little bit. But I had these wonderful pink pleated pants already in my closet, and I don't often find a chance to wear them. And I thought this is the chance. This sweater is just the slightest bit too long, so I am going to give it a little tuck. It doesn't require a ton of fabric being tucked in, so I can, I can do that. I can get away with it. So now. I think this is a good outfit. I think I actually can't wait to wear this outfit. <laughs> I really wasn't excited about this sweater and I thought, what am I gonna do with this? But this actually is wonderful. Look at these sleeves. That's really fun. I mean, not fun like riding the cart at the grocery store parking lot or not fun like getting your Amazon box on your doorstep, but you know, fun, fashion fun. I kind of wanted to give these pink pants, another shot with something else. And I brought out this really wonderful, luscious navy blue silk blouse. I can't describe how thick and soft it is. It's a really good find. So I was trying to decide sleeves down or sleeves up, and I think it's sleeves up. I'm not even sure it goes with these pink pants. We're gonna give it a try. I mean, I don't see why not, but I think it needs a tuck in. And the problem with this situation is these pink pants aren't the thickest. They're very soft. Should I tell you more about the glory of soft pants? So I think I might be able to see this through it. Yeah, I can see a little bit through it in the back and it creates a little bit too much bulk. I'm going to try it with a different pair of pants, although I don't think this is bad. We're going to try it again. You know, 
I like where this is going. I need a belt. These pants are a little more low slung than I normally like, but they're linen, which is not a winter fabric. But when I put a wool sweater with them, they feel right for winter. So let's hear, let's see the belt. Yeah, I don't know about this. This is not a good choice because it doesn't accentuate my waist. What happens if I take it out? What would happen if I just tucked in right in the beginning here? What do you think about that? That is pretty classy, actually. I'm gonna look at that from far, but... I'd say that's a winner. You know, the tuck is everything. The tuck makes some things make sense. And for some reason, this now makes sense. And just a second ago, it really didn't make sense. But I love this. This is very comfortable. Look how much fabric. Look how much fabric in these pants. Can you see the quality of this shirt? Maybe not. I can feel the quality of this shirt. And sometimes that's more important is that you just feel amazing in your clothes. I feel amazing in this shirt. Let's keep these pants on to show you the importance of owning some body suits, some, what do you call these that snap underneath? Not onesies, body suits. I don't know why, there is a name for this. So this one's especially, uh, it's cut especially far in here. For winter, I wouldn't normally be thinking about this shape, but what I like about it is it has a nice high neckline. Let's pull my necklace out here. And when you have pants that are a little lower on your waist, the bodysuit is important because a regular tank top is either gonna be too short to tuck in or it's gonna keep coming untucked. So I would probably just throw a sweater over. I am going to style it with something else. Okay, we're gonna try this with pants that are more high-waisted. I'm very excited about these pants that I found. They're sort of a burnt orange mahogany, wide leg, a little bit cropped from Uniqlo, but from the thrift store. And we're gonna try this sweater again because the sweater is so cute. I just didn't do it justice last time. Actually, this is much better, even though, again, I don't feel like this is a flattering length. I can do things in order to make it sit better. This time I'm going to button the buttonhole on the fourth button and the button to the fourth buttonhole. And I'm just gonna let that be cropped. Is that better? I'm barefoot. Morning, I put on shoes. What kind of shoes would you put on? Not these. Not these shoes. Yes. You know what? I think that this needs one more button connection to sit right. Not bad. With the winter boots, the winter motorcycle boots, and this type of pant, the bodysuit and the sweater are really working. Let's try to button the sweater in a normal way and just tuck it in and see what happens. Okay, I've buttoned it normally. These are nice high-waisted pants. Lots of room in them, I like them a lot. What do we think of this? I think I like it. Very cute, very fall, very cozy, very going to the pumpkin patch if I did that sort of thing. Never tuck your hair behind your ears. It lacks class. I do it all the time. Cute. Now this is a very strange item and not everybody would pair this this way, but I have my mahogany burnt orange Uniqlo pants on still. And I picked up this vintage blouse. I'm not sure when it's from, 80s, 90s, looks like late 80s from the tag. And it's white with red polka dots. It's very fun, it has this scarf around the neck. The only issue with it is one of these uh, button back blouse is very inconvenient, but I felt it was worth it because it was very unique. And I really could just leave it like this, um, very loose and casual. I could walk around like this all day and be so comfortable and not think about anything. I'm going to try to style it a little bit though. I'm going to tuck it in. I think that's the first step. And that will create a lot more shape. And I think I'll tie the tie. I would probably add a belt. 
but I think that this is more of a work look. But it's nicer for the figure if you tuck it in. I don't find that necessary sometimes, but I really like this combination. I wouldn't have thought about combining burnt orange and red and white, but I think this turned out really nice and I like it with the boot. I think this blouse was a beautiful find. It has this really nice neckline, kind of lacy. Look at the sleeves. Look at the sleeves. They're a little bit inconvenient, but very pretty. You know, pretty often isn't convenient. So you have to make your choices, right? So I'm gonna tuck this blouse in off screen here, kind of. And we're gonna check this out tucked in. How about red? Red flats, why not? Yeah, that adds something, I like that. These pants are really gonna go far in my winter wardrobe, I can already tell. This blouse is a sometimes blouse. It really is pretty though, and I'm happy with it. Very good price for a very special item. This hairstyle isn't so great. We're not here for a hair tutorial though. This here is a very nice, almost brand new skirt. And this is not leopard print. This is not leopard print. This is not a floral either. It kind of looks like maybe a dog paw prints. It's nothing, it's nothing print, but I like it because it's nothing. You can't pin it down. You can't pigeonhole this print. What I like about it is first of all, check this out. Pockets, ladies, pockets. And it's a nice length where I'm not really showing anything off at all. And it's very comfortable. I'm going to wear it with these motorcycle boots because that's what I would normally like to wear. And you really can't beat a black turtleneck. This was already in my closet because you need a black turtleneck to go with everything. So this is a really basic winter outfit. I like that the skirt is full, but not like a complete A-line. It's more of like a bell shape. Well, I can see that my turtleneck is causing a little bit of bulging in places. So maybe what I would do is maybe twist it around in the front and then tuck it in rather than tuck it in all over. Yeah, that's better. It was creating chunk where it was not needed. <laughs> so do pockets though. If you wanna have pockets, just realize that, you know, there's an extra layer of fabric that needs to go in there for those pockets. So make your choices. Actually, I choose pockets. It's nice to have pockets. Should I show this one with my hair down? Yeah. I like it better with my hair down. It felt a little too prim with my hair back in that low bun. So I wanted to show you what a difference that makes. Your hairstyle is part of the styling. And with this particular outfit, it looks much better when my hair is down. And that is all, that is all I wanted to say. So this is going to be a very conservative look. Sometimes I need to look like a professional lady. I think this is a great blouse for that. The ruffle is only on one side. This side is plain and this side has the ruffle. I love that look. I was so excited to find this blouse. And I put it with these very conservative woman pants that I own that I drag out for occasions. Like if I happen to go see an orchestra or I need to be in charge of something, I bring out these pants. And they're very standard semi-wide leg trousers. And I'm wearing my very conservative, comfortable heels. I feel like I put, look put together and I feel like I can think in this outfit. I'm not thinking about what I'm wearing. I'm thinking about what I'm thinking about. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm thinking about what I have to think about because I have to think sometimes as a woman, as a lady, as a conservatively dressed woman. So this blouse was a super good find. How many black blouses can one own? A lot. They can all be very different. I did pick up two black blouses on this refresh of my wardrobe and a navy blue one. So that's a lot of dark, but I'm going to try to find uses for all of these. I'm actually very excited about this because sometimes your outfit needs to not say too much because the focus needs to be here. And this is great for uh, when I'm going to give my TED talk on silk scarves.
This is a really pretty silver blouse. And the sleeves have some extra junk in the trunk, which I really like. But it can easily get out of control shape-wise, let me show you. So it's very billowy. I'm still wearing my conservative woman pants. They're very versatile. Um, so we're doing a conservative woman, oh, I don't know, New Year's Eve uh, night on the town, fancy dinner look, I guess. Uh, sometimes you need those outfits. Sometimes you are that person. Uh, but this is too much. This is too much fabric. So we are going to tuck this one in. And we're going to first try to tuck it in just the front and see how that looks. It has a nice wide neckline, which I like. Well, that's kind of nice. I, I think from here, I like this. I like the long back. Now let's try to tuck it all in, see what happens. I'm feeling crazy. Hmm, it's a lot of fabric. <laughs> it's too much fabric for tucking in. Too much, too much, much too much. I could get away with it if I was wearing a jacket over it. So yeah, it did add a lot of bulk around here, but if I was going to put my you may have seen this jacket in a different video. This is a very strange jacket I found at the thrift store one day, and I call it my art gallery smart person jacket. So if I wanted something shiny to wear under this, I could do it, but what about the sleeves? The sleeves are important, so I actually wouldn't do that. So I wouldn't tuck it in all the way. I'd leave the back out. I would not tuck my hair behind my ears. I wear it just like this. I think this is a fun, classy lady look. Look at these sleeves. Look at my sleeves. So can we take a second and ignore my I've been trying on clothes hair to talk about why shopping at the thrift store is so great. There's plenty of great clothes there. Nice, classy, brand new clothing. It costs a quarter or less than it would cost new. And that is a great way to be okay with taking some fashion risks. And taking some fashion risks at this age is important. We've had a while to get stuck in our ruts. This is a great way to try something new. Plus it's way more fun to worry about these things down here that I can control and less about these things up here that I cannot control. I hope you had as much fun as I did today. I'll see you next time.